What you doing, girl? This is little Addison gobbling up some bananas. Her mom, Delilah Blackburn, recorded this video on May 14th, 2018, the day before she died. She was just six months old. You know, you miss your child every single day and you miss watching them grow up and wondering what they could be or what could have been. Addison died after being left in a hot car for about six hours in Shreveport on May 15th, 2018. Police said it appeared her dad, who was heading to work, forgot she was in the back seat. His mind thought he had dropped her off at daycare and he didn't. Studies from kids in cars show this happens more often than you may think. In Louisiana from 1990 to 2020, 40 children died in hot cars. And nationally, that number is even higher, way higher, close to 1,000 deaths, according to the data. In more than half of these cases, just like Blackburn's, someone unknowingly left a child in the back seat. It wasn't purposefully done. It's why Blackburn and her family support the Hot Cars Act, a federal bill which calls to add technology in all cars that can detect if a child is left behind. It'll also alert the driver before it's too late. Here's how it works. If the vehicle detects an infant, older child, or pet, it can take a number of actions. It can send a text or call a registered number, activate a car horn or alarm. And if the vehicle is electric, it could even switch on climate control to keep the cabin cool. Blackburn and her family said this technology is so important and they'll continue getting the word out by sharing safety reminder packets just like this. Look before you lock and it gives some safety features on, on what to do. To make sure what happened to their family doesn't happen to anyone else. If one one family gets this packet and it helps them um, to prevent this from happening, then we've done our job. So tomorrow will mark three years since Addison died. To read more about her story, as well as something you can do right now to prevent this from happening to you, you can head to our website, WDSU.com.